At this point in the engineering design process, your team should have clarified its assignment, completed a design context review, and established design criteria. The next step in the engineering design process is idea generation. Idea generation can be difficult, but luckily there's a process we have to apply called brainstorming. Effective application of the rules of brainstorming can help you get the most out of the process. There are really four rules to brainstorming. The first rule of brainstorming is quantity over quality. In brainstorming, volume of ideas is paramount. Often teams will sit down for 15 minutes, they'll come up with a list of ideas that they've brainstormed, and they'll think they're done. Actually, these are going to be the worst ideas that the teams have come up with. What they really need to do is get these ideas out of their head so they can make room for the good ideas. Linus Pauling is quoted as saying, the only way to have good ideas is to have a lot of ideas. The second rule of brainstorming is that wild ideas are welcome. In fact, the crazier the idea, the better. Because in brainstorming, you're trying to get your rational mind to jump the tracks, so to speak, and start to make relationships that don't normally make sense. We could also, I don't know, chunks of soap kind of like how to dispense chunks. I don't know, something like a gumball machine kind of comes to mind. Okay. So where we could push in and, I don't know, some type of fun device. Or like you yeah. could like turn it and it could like roll down a ramp to get oh, to it. So yeah. Kind of like, like a Goldberg. Yeah. 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 Goldberg. And like, like push a button here and then it like flips a lever and then it rolls down a ramp and eventually dispenses. I feel like I'd tell my friends about that one. Yeah. <laughs> the third rule of brainstorming is that hitchhiking is encouraged. Hitchhiking is when you hear an idea from your team member and you then add, develop, or improve that idea. Hey, so Ben, what did you mean by the syringe? So uh, I was thinking that you can use the syringe to, uh, af after the, uh, the cream or sugar has been liquefied, you can kind of like draw out the, the liquid using a syringe um, and then kind of push it back into the coffee. Their way, that way there's no uh, direct bag-to-bag -bag connection, but you can use a syringe as like a medium. Cool. And then maybe you could make it like one of those multicolored pens and you can have two condiments in one syringe. The fourth rule of brainstorming is that criticism is not allowed. During brainstorming, there are no good or bad ideas. All ideas have equal weight. And so that means that you shouldn't self-censor. When you come up with an idea, write it down. Also, you shouldn't criticize team members for any ideas that they have. So, uh, JP, you have uh, written here super hot sugar. What did you mean by that? Um, well, sugar is naturally just a solid, so we got to figure out some way to get it from one pouch to another. So I figured one way we could do that is to get it hot enough to where it's a liquid, so it'll travel easier. I think that's a, a pretty dumb idea because uh, the sugar would burn before uh, it got to a liquid form. I think we should hold off on judging for now because we just want to get all the ideas out. And I mean, the fourth rule of brainstorming is you don't judge a brainstorm. So I'm going to describe two methods that engineering design teams often use as methods for brainstorming. There's the writing slip method and the card method. So in the writing slip method, team members have cards, index cards, sticky notes, or slips of paper. For each card, a student would generate an idea write it down quickly with words, or sketch it out. The goal would be to have about one idea generated and recorded about every 30 seconds. You might continue this for 15 to 20 minutes with the goal of generating 30, 40, or maybe even 50 ideas. So if you recall the first rule of brainstorming, quantity is more important than quality. So once your team members have exhausted all of their ideas, then you would begin to discuss among the team. So an individual would go through and read their cards, quickly show the sketch, and throw them into the center. As you're listening to your teammates, other ideas might come to mind, either new ideas altogether, or you might be hitchhiking ideas. Take a new card, jot down that idea. When it's your turn, you want to mention that idea and put it in the center. This process will generate a lot of really good ideas, not only the ideas that you generated individually, but also the new ideas that came through the discussion and the hitchhiked ideas. So the second method is the card method. The card method looks very much like the writing slip method at the beginning, in that individuals have cards, they generate ideas and put down one idea per card. So once the individuals in the team have exhausted their ideas, they take their stack of cards and they pass them to their team member on their left. 
that team member would look at the idea and the sketch, and then they would add to that, deliberately hitchhiking by improving, clarifying, or expanding on that idea. They might write some more words or draw an additional sketch. In summary, we've talked about two methods, the writing slip method and the card method. Both of these methods generate a large quantity of ideas, and both include the idea of hitchhiking, although the card method really emphasizes hitchhiking.